you know? Yeah, I know. Like, when does this happen? But and oh, we are, li like we are live. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to lunch. I'm Kayleen McKay, joined as usual by Scott Sheeler with Sefka. Scott, how are you doing this week? I'm doing great, Kayleen. It's good to be back with you after taking a week off. I was telling everybody earlier, I felt kind of lost last week. You know, I, I, 12 o'clock rolled around and I didn't have anything anywhere to go. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? So it's good to be back. It's good to be back with you on Facebook Live and just looking forward to our uh, show this week. Yeah, me too. It was sort of odd to have last week off. I spent a lot of time in the shop, which gave me time to come up with another random tool that I put a lot of love to. And let's see if Scott, if you were familiar with this lovely item. Um, have you ever used one of these? No, I, yes. I see the serrated edges. So it's some type of saw for sure. Yes. And so you're correct. This is a, um, this is my Japanese pole saw and it has a very, very thin blade. And what's handy is when you pull on it and that's when you make your cut. And so uh, I use it a lot when I'm installing door jams and tile work and I was doing a lot of trim work and needed some kind of odd cuts and this came in handy. So that's this week's random, my random handle and it makes a nice noise. <laughs> like it could work in a kitchen too. It looks like you could use it as a spatula, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I do have, have drywall knives that I use in my kitchen. I should upgrade. Sometimes I'm like, I need a thin spatula. I can chop it at the same time. Well, um, I'm so excited to chat this week because I'm a lover of all things tools and construction and getting to see the full scope. I mean, sometimes I'm using this, something very tiny, and then sometimes a project uh, needs like a welder or something bigger. And this week's guest is sort of right up that alley. I'm very excited. Definitely. Yeah. So I am so excited to, to talk with Be Pro, Be Proud Georgia today. This is a, a campaign. You've probably heard about it uh, out there in Colorado. It started in Arkansas and we had a group here in Georgia that had the courage and the vision to bring it to, to Georgia. Uh, so I'm actually up here in Cherokee County today, which is about 45 minutes north of Atlanta, uh, up in a town called Woodstock. And this it's actually where the Be Pro, Be Proud unit is today, the mobile unit. Um, at some point it will start rolling around the state of Georgia and getting young people excited about careers in the skill profession. So we're gonna get a sneak peek at it today. It hasn't been seen by a lot of people here in Georgia. What in the world are you drinking there, Kayleen? Free fun like an adult. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it, it, as I was saying, it was, it was launched back in late July before I got distracted by your Capri Sun there. Um, but um, it was launched back in late July and it hasn't actually visited a school yet, mainly because of COVID. It, you know, okay. so a lot of schools are shut down here in Georgia. Um, we're doing things virtually, and um, but we're excited because it does look like it's going to get out into a school here in the next few weeks. Um, I'm sure Misty will tell you more about that, but but the vision is that this thing is going to be rolling around the state of Georgia, getting young people excited about careers in the skilled professions, and so. I just think it's such a cool concept and I'm so happy that we have it here in Georgia and Sefka is a sponsor and a partner, a strategic partner for Be Pro, Be Proud Georgia. And I couldn't be happier to have it here as a resource. And, I, and I'm, I'm happy that you get to talk with Scott Calloway. He, you're going to love Scott. He is so excited about the skilled trades and so good at getting kids excited about it. And then Misty, uh, Misty Martin as well with the Cherokee uh, County of Economic Development, um, Cherokee Office of Economic Development. Uh, you get to speak with her as well and hear more about the vision for bringing it to Georgia. So excited, definitely a good show today. Yeah, it's awesome because you know, with our chats over the last few weeks, we've talked about how do you get into the trades, what are employers looking for, how do you how do you find good employees, um, but this is another resource we haven't really touched on, and it's fantastic because part of the problem in teaching across the U.S. is access to showing students what could they be working with. When I talk about a welder or working in like a truck or a heavy operation machinery, how do you get them to understand unless they can see it? So this is a very cool, cool product. Yeah, so the way I like to think of it, it's sort of a mobile expo, right? I mean, you've come out to our career expo a million times and 
uh, this, this will actually allow us to take that expo on the road and get kids excited right in their schools, right? And so that's one of the things I'm excited about is it, it allows us to kind of take the message on the road and take it to students. The students don't have to come to us. You know, Misty and her team and Scott will be able to take it straight to the students and the counselors and the parents. And so I, it's going to be awesome. It's We're so excited. We can't wait to get it out there uh, on the road in Georgia and uh, can't wait to talk with you more about it today. Yeah, big time. No, well, it's nice to start up lunch with you as always, Scott. Um, and I can't wait. Well, obviously you'll be hanging around. So if any of our friends uh, want to ask any questions, please feel free to type them into the comments or you can text career path to the number that I will pull up to that's I thought. Oh, it's a, you can text career path to 31996 and ask Scott more questions, but Scott, I'll see you at the end of the show too. So. Sounds good, Kayleen. Awesome. Talk and Thank you. awesome. Thanks Scott. And Amazing, it's so lovely to be joined by you. And before we actually take a tour of this truck, you are actually associated with, you're the president of the Cherokee Office of Economic Development. And so, Misty, how did you come apart partnering with Go Build? No, Go, I'm, I drank that Capri Sun and then I distracted myself, didn't I? That's all. <laughs> I just needed a little bit. So um, how did you get hooked up with Be Pro, Be Proud, Georgia? Thanks, Kayleen. Well, really it was driven, the idea was driven by feedback from our industry. So we have the Cherokee Office of Economic Development started digging into bridging the gap between education and industry, and then our leadership decided to do something about it. And our interest started with a local problem we were trying to solve, but we all know it's really a national, pro, uh, national problem. And so when we heard about Arkansas's launch of Be Pro, Be Proud in 2016, we were immediately interested. And lucky for us, they started this program knowing that it could scale nationwide, and they've done just that. And so we're starting Be Pro, Be Proud Georgia in Cherokee County, but we're sharing it with a region and a state, just as Scott mentioned. And this initiative is bigger than one county, it's bigger than one state, and it's a movement dispelling the myths about the skilled professions and really connecting students with the opportunity and the pathway for success. And I know as a mom, that's um, of utmost importance to me. And so we're so excited for you to tour the mobile workshop and hear from Scott Calloway, who's our operations manager. And there's no one better to lead this virtual tour because he's been running Be Pro Be Proud Arkansas for the last four years. But we're so glad to welcome him back to his home state of Georgia to lead our program. And since this is fall and in the spirit of college football that we're supposedly going to get to play, go dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you starting football stuff now? I see this is I'm in Colorado, so I don't know all the like yay football. <laughs> yeah, I know Georgia I should Bulldogs. like roll tide. Is that one of it too? <laughs> no roll tide. Well, no, I, Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> I am beyond thrilled and really happy to hear that your position and your like your side of the industry recognized the need and stepped in. It's incredibly valuable because this is not a one faceted problem. It's not like we could just talk to the two students and then they'll buy in or the parents or the guidance counselor takes hitting it from all sorts of angles. So the buy in from you folks, very impressive. Um, I, would, I would love to hear more how we can get that trend to happen across the US. Uh, because really what were some of the things that were the, were the pushing factor besides industry? Were there other factors coming into play? Yeah, we were, we were hearing from um, our work-based learning instructors and from our CTAE directors in the high schools that they really wanted to connect these kids with high demand careers in our area. And so um, it just started putting the pieces of the puzzle together saying, okay, how do we get all these people into a room? And how do we start talking about a real solution to the problem? And having this mobile workforce workshop is that hands-on piece of it that gets the kids interested. And then Scott does his magic with um, telling the story and getting them to understand what kind of career they can really have in these professions. And it gets them all excited and hopefully it gets the parents excited too. So we can't wait to get it out on the road. Yes, no joke. Uh, I was joking earlier on one of my social media sites that I want my CDL license so I can drive this toy around and play with it because it's amazing. Um, 
it's really cool to, because also we can talk about these careers, but sometimes unless you see the tools you get to use, what the career actually looks like, you're not really interested in it. So I'm thrilled to get to take a tour. Misty, thank you so much for uh, hopping on and, you know, making this a part of, of Cherokee, um, is it Cherokee County, correct? Yeah, Cherokee Office of Economic Development. Yeah, we're in North Atlanta in, um, in Cherokee County. Well, I'm envious that I don't live there, and I bet a lot of students and parents are too. So I hope the truck is on the road very soon, and we'll bring you back in a bit. But I am so excited to chat with Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, guys. How are y'all? I'm terrific. How are you doing? I'm terrific. Welcome to Be Pro, Be Proud, Georgia. Um, Scott, you have the coolest truck and trailer I've ever seen. I'm super envious and it's not just because I'm a total nerd for stuff like that. I'm excited about the fact that you are now taking in a visual tool that students, parents, anybody who walked through it, they can see and understand where the careers are at. I mean, this is, oh, I looked through some of the videos and I was definitely, definitely envious. Um, can you talk about, I mean, I understand why you're doing this, but I do think that there is um, a perception of what it like, looks like to work in the trades. How are you counterbalancing that? Well, if you grow up in the United States, uh, the past hundred years, we have preached four-year degrees to every student that comes through our school systems. And over time, the skilled trades is what they used to, we call them skilled professions. Trades is a dirty word, we call them professions. The skilled trades were kind of put on the back burner as a an alternative, but you want to go get the four-year degree. And there was a time in our country where that was actually the best pathway. But as things have changed and as the markets changed and as jobs have, have come back into play uh, and as the baby boomer exodus out of the skilled workforce to the tune of 10,000 people a day, these professional jobs are sitting there waiting for people to fill them. Uh, the, the investment as far as time and money is very low and the income is very high, which uh, creates a large value for, for the individual getting certified and going into that. So when we present the facts, uh, those facts, uh, they can see the value and it's no longer, um, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll do that as an alternative. It becomes a primary source of income. So we do a great job of presenting the facts and talking about actually what's going on today in our world. And the facts are important. The things that, you know, like out of every 10 jobs, only three require a college education. The other seven are through other industries like ours. It's amazing. And the opportunities are huge. So I've traveled around the country and the world talking about my love and passion for this, but I have done it without a truck and trailer. Why a truck and trailer? Well, we want to be mobile. We need to bring the message to the masses, okay? If we were leaving it up to them to come to us, they may not come. And so we want to be proactive. And so we want to bring this mobile workshop that's really cool. You're going to get a tour in just a second. Um, as you know, in this form of marketing, the packaging is everything. And we have the best package in the world with our truck and trailer set up um, in Arkansas. When I did this before, um, uh, we found out that that, that that method was very effective. And now that we're here in Georgia as well, um, this is the best way to do this. And the kids eat it up. The administrators eat it up, eat it up. the parents eat it up. And so uh, the truck and trailer is the best way to get our message into the kids. It's a huge valuable tool because you can talk all day long about all the neat stuff we get to do and create, but unless they actually see it and get hands on, it's really hard to comprehend. And I think it's incredibly valuable that you get to show the adults in the room this device as well, because uh, I don't know how many times well, I was told that I was too smart to be a welder. Uh, uh, what? Uh, welding is incredibly complicated. It's a lot of math constantly. And so folks getting actually to see that in real life is so valuable. Um, so you, it started off in Arkansas, correct? Correct. What, we started. Did, I'm, uh, it started I'm sorry. Off. Go ahead. No, go right ahead. Uh, what year did uh, Be Pro, Be Proud get started in Arkansas? So we started shortly after the new year in 2016 um, when I was approached from Arkansas State Chamber to come out and give this a try. Um, it was it was literally on a wing and a prayer. We didn't know what to expect. We came out. We had the truck. We let the communities know what we were doing. And after about a week or two of doing events, 
and the effect the, uh, the and then they were able to see the, the effectiveness over the students with what we're doing. Our schedule uh, for the entire was built uh, for the entire year was built in a few weeks. And we are now uh, at, before I left Arkansas, we're booking a year in advance. And so if you want us to come out to your school next week, you, you have to get in line and maybe we can get to you in like a year. Um, and so the popularity exploded, the message exploded and 20,000 students in the first four years said, I want to go into the skilled workforce because of what I've seen. We, we got the message in front of about 98,000 and 20,000 um, said yes to it. Um, we had put forth a model that if we got 10% extremely successful, we were twice that. So it was so effective there. It's going to be it more is effective. amazing. And Scott, what I'd really like is um, I would love for you to walk around the truck and I'm still going to ask you questions because there's a lot that we need to chat about, but um, you're you're handsome and great to look at, but I want to see that truck. So absolutely, <laughs> show so, me all the toys. <laughs> so what I would like to do is, is take you guys through quickly um, as a student would come through and I want to hit the high points on each station so that you can really get a feel for how it would be to be a student. So I want to invite you over to our teaching se uh, section. And Scott, real quick, while you're walking over, um, I'd love to know how can schools get on that list? You know, I wanted to, you were talking earlier that if schools want to get on the list, they need to reach a year out. Where do they go? Terrific question. I'm glad you asked. We actually just went over that before. I went over that with someone inquiring about that right before we jumped on the live. So here's how, here's the answer to that question. If you go to be pro, be proud, Georgia, dot org be pro be proud georgia dot org you want to go to news and events okay it's very simple you want to click book a tour stop okay fill out the fields click request tour stop and that goes straight into our office and then we put you on the schedule i want to let you guys know that because of COVID 19 we haven't built a schedule yet but we are ready okay we're, our outfit is ready to go when the places can have us we're coming so get on book a tour stop we can't wait to see you guys out there um so that answers the how to get us to come to you um awesome. was, was there any other questions before i started on the um on no the i'm just getting a lot of comments online that we want to see like you walking around i love the fact so go be pro be proud you need to check out the website so what were you going to show us next let me show you this. This is where the magic happens. Okay. When the kids come on, we talk about the opportunities. So the, uh, a 15 or 16 year old kid is not going to know what you mean when you say skilled workforce, unless they grew up in the home of a mom or dad that preached that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is integrate them with what the skilled workforce is. We feature 13 skills here in Georgia. So the first thing we want to do is talk about the opportunities, the salaries, okay of each one and we're asking the students while we're doing that ask yourself a couple of quick questions what do i like to do and how does it fit in with the board here okay so you're going to scroll down and we're talking we're, we you can actually click on each one of these and we encourage the kids to do this at home okay we don't have a lot of time the biggest enemy is we don't have enough time and so if they'll do this at home uh they'll be able to get this information easily so you can awesome. click on it what was that Oh, no, I'm just saying great that this information can be found before going into the track online so students can pre-educate themselves and then they can stroll through. And Scott, I'm actually getting kind of a rough glare. I don't know if we can scoot the camera over so we can see the whole screen a little bit better. Um, or if we could go to what hands-on activities the students actually get to do once they go through and educate themselves about the career opportunities. Sure. Can you see the board here? I'm just going to take a quick and go through this really quickly. Can you see this? Yes. You see okay, so on the website, you can learn about what the professions are. You can learn about where you can get certified and for how much. We go over that in great detail. You can learn about who's hiring. Okay. Um, the, the end result here is to get gainful employment. Okay. So we talk about that with our partners. Okay. Our partner companies that are investors in this that want to hire uh, the, the professionals of tomorrow, which are our students that come on board. And then lastly, we talk about joining the movement so that they can get more information. Okay. At this point, let's walk around and check out the stations that are our simulators awesome. that, that the kids can do hands-on um, activities. Yes. With. Let's head over that behind is me. what I'd love Sorry. to see. Cause all this stuff, I'm going to have folks check it out online. And I really want to see 
after uh, checking that out, where can we see? What are we hands on checking out? Okay, first thing, our welding station. Okay, the welding station has been the same since day one in Arkansas, and it's the same today. The reason it's the same is because it's immensely popular. This is a station that we um, utilize for competition, and we get the, the kids can get on here and get a welding score. They can get on and they can get a welding score, and then they get a free MVP B Pro Be Proud Georgia t shirt for the highest welding score in the class. Um, we have huge lines and huge crowds at this station. It was the same in Arkansas. You can get a welding score. I'm not going to show you my score. It probably wasn't that great. <laughs> That's right. is, that the, um, is that Lincoln? Is that the Lincoln? Yeah, this um, is our Lincoln Electric. Our sweet. Lincoln Electric welder. Kids love this. I actually had two students in Arkansas that were getting ready to quit school. And after spending some time with us, they loved the welding simulator so much. They told their teacher they were going to go into welding school and stay in school. And the teacher actually came out and told us before we left. So this is a really highly effective station that our kids in Georgia are going to love. Let's head over here to our medical yep. tech station, our Z space. All right, our medically, our medical experts are going to love this. Okay, this Z space uh, med tech station has a million functions. So it depends on what you want to go into. You can literally check out any kind of anatomy that we have in our body. And you can go into different body parts. You can get tutorials on that body part, as you can see here. And you can go into the entire anatomy. Um, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can literally do so much more than what you're actually seeing here. Um, hey, so wait, Scott, I'm confused for just a second. So I see a computer screen. What is driving this 3D imagery? If you look down in my right hand, um, you can do this with a mouse, OK? Or you can take this pen, let's see, and you can manipulate this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this pen, but you can wow. manipulate this with this pen as well. Now, check it out. This is awesome. You can also put these 3D glasses on that we sanitize well, and you can manipulate. You can't see this, but if you were looking through these, as your head turns, this whole thing turns with the 3D glasses. That's incredible. Um, right now, you just look like you're doing some cool magician work, but I yeah, believe you no, with the glasses. This, this is going to be amazing. The technology popular. coming in with all of this is absolutely incredible. The virtual welder, and now it's coming into the medical profession, is fantastic. Uh, yeah, what next? I only have about three minutes before we yeah, start to bring in yeah. uh, our other guests again. Okay. Um, bear with me here. This stuff times out if you're not on it constantly. So trucking, Wait, trucking is, that... is immensely important. Trucking is the spine of our country. We can't get anything done unless we have diesel technicians um, or class A truck drivers. Um, and so this is a way to get on and drive a class A vehicle through different boards and different parts of the world. Um, wow, I'm so envious. So, so what a kid would do here is they would get on here, they would connect to a trailer, and then there's a GPS that you can follow. And then you can go through literally all, all parts of the world doing all kinds of different things that a class A driver would do. Really, really cool station. The kids are gonna love this. I know I know. we gotta wrap this up. That's amazing. So, so let's Does slide it around. Does it have the hydraulic seats? Sorry, Scott. Does it have the hydraulic seats to it that moves around so it's sort of an interactive driving yes, experience? It's, yes, it's very interactive. It's very authentic. I actually spent some time on this the other day beyond just a few minutes. So many details, so much depth that you can go into that really brings the authenticity of that skill out. It's really fun if you can spend some time on it. All right, we're almost done here. Our robotic arm, okay, automation and robotics. That's where manufacturing is going today. And it's, as you can see, you can manipulate this robotic arm and there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Um, and the kids can get on here and they can, it's basically, it's kind of like in gaming mode. They can get on here and manipulate the arm and they can build all kinds of stuff with the blocks that you see on the table here. Really fun station. This generation is really into automation and robotics. As you know, they were born with a controller in their hand. This is how you can earn a great living with a controller in your hand, doing the things that we need every day. All right, let's slide over here. We got two more stations and we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, the last one of the modules is our skills challenge. Hand-eye coordination is immensely important. You have to have hand-eye coordination to be great in the skills. So this is a way to get on here 
and compete with your friend. This is a two-man game. They get on here and compete for a minute to see who gets the highest score, and we give prizes away on this station as well. This is not an actual job or a skilled job, but it is a way to test your hand-eye coordination. Uh, this is really popular. There will be a big line on this as well at every school. Last thing, let's slide down here to the last part of our day. Once you see Be Pro, Be Proud, we're asking you to join the movement. Join the movement lets us capture your information so that we can help you beyond just today. Joining the movement tells us what your interests are, where you're from, and, and how we can connect you into gainful employment. Um, if you join the movement, we can do that. That's our number one goal. So they join the movement right here on the iPad stands, or they can do it on their cell phone by going to BeProBeProudGeorgia.org. Click join the movement, and you can sign up there too. That is absolutely awesome. Um, hang on. I just want to see if there are. Um, I just want to make sure that there aren't more questions from our fans, because that was fantastic. What um, what age students are you normally bringing this check out for? Well, because of HIPAA laws, we try to stay between eighth grade and seniors. Um, but we do we do some below eighth grade. We try to stay, you know, sixth, seventh or eighth grade. Um, the reason the reason I mentioned the HIPAA laws is we can't have you join the movement if you're underneath if you're under 13. So 13 up to senior and beyond can join the movement. If you're a seventh grader or if you're 12 or under, um, you just can't join the movement. But you can certainly come and enjoy the trailer. So that's excellent. I have Woodstock High School wants you to come out. Uh, Creekview High School wants you to come out and say hi. Um, definitely, you're going to be very very popular once things get up and going again after COVID. What sort of precautions have you folks taken with that in mind and schools reopening? We actually have a, um, we were affiliated with a company uh, in Arkansas that specialized in COVID cleaning. And they actually gave us an, uh, a year's supply of cleaning uh, m uh, materials to keep everything sanitized. And so I actually have that out. And uh, I also have assistance. We're wiping stations down in between classes and we have that special sanitizer that is for specifically um, created for COVID cleaning. We do that in between classes and certainly at the end of the day, um, we keep it as sanitized as humanly possible. So That's excellent to hear. And you know, construction is a very safety oriented field anyway. And so reminding people that, yeah, like beyond safety glasses and earplugs, wash your hands. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Scott also, uh, can, can we get a shot of the coolness from the outside, by the way? Because sure. I, I don't think folks quite understand what, what an amazing facility we just got to walk through. Hey, yay! Um, what a truck and a half. That thing is tricked out beyond all belief. And so we got to see the welding station. We got medical. We had trucking, uh, robotics, the uh, hand-eye coordination. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. And so again, um, I'm going to have Scott repeat again the web address that schools who are excited about going to. Scott, can you say that address one more time so schools can go ahead and get on that amazing waiting list? Be pro, be proud, Georgia.org. Click news and events, click book a tour stop, fill out the fields, and we will see you on the road. It sounds amazing. And, you know, folks should just go there anyway to check out the other information. That board that we went through with the career essentials and information is really valuable. So you don't necessarily have to wait for the truck to come to you. You can get the benefit of some of the education. And, um, yeah, to wrap this up, hello again, Misty and Scott. Uh, this was, oh, come on. Yo, uh, that needs to be parked near my house, too. <laughs> There's some fun <laughs> stuff in there. It's very, very engaging for students. Well, we're all set. We're just ready for the state to have us come in. When you guys are ready, we'll be there. Come to Colorado next. We need one out here. Just saying. Go, right. go, yeah. go to Colorado. Well, it's, exploding. it's exploding all over the country. South Carolina, Kentucky, and other states are in the pipeline. So it, this is going to be something, I think, in the next decade that you're going to see in a lot of states. Yeah, absolutely, because not necessarily every classroom has the space to talk about this, and so you're bringing that to them, which is amazing. So, um, again, you know, Scott, as being a partner with SEPCA, what an awesome opportunity to kind of have hands-on tools to bring to students. Amen. We love SEPCA. Yeah, absolutely. Those are our good friends. Oh, Scott Sheeler, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Scott yeah, hey. oh. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Scott, on my lower screen, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, you know, in this environment, you know, with COVID, we love the idea of being able to take something out, you know, mobile and, and reach smaller groups of students as well. So this is really perfect timing for us to have it in Georgia. And ultimately, we see it as helping to fill up all these construction programs that we have across Georgia, right? We've talked before about how we have 150 different high school construction programs. And this is a way that we're going to get those high school students so excited that they want to go sign up for their their uh, high school construction class. So that that's that's one of the things we're most excited about. But yeah, just so thankful to Misty. And I can't imagine a better person than Scott Calloway to have as our champion running this uh, this mobile unit across the state. He's just so energetic and you know young enough to still connect with the young people and um and just get them excited and so knowledgeable so just so thankful to be a partner and be proud thank you scott be thank be you pro, be proud thank you yes sir um yes it is definitely a uh, a great partnership all the way around and i'm happy that we we're i was able to chat with all three of you today and um oh my gosh i'm just getting a few more notices that you're wanted all over the place scott uh prepare for your emails uh, uh, Yes, a be pro, be proud, Scott. Not Seth, Scott. <laughs> everybody, we're ready. Um, we're ready. We're ready. Good, very good. Well, to everyone still watching too, please check out the websites listed. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to also text. Um, oh my gosh, uh, text career path to three one nine nine six. And next week, I'm very excited because again, we're going to be talking about the skilled trades, but we're going to be joined by a uh, plumbing and HVAC um, specialist and CEO. He's the owner and CEO of Specialty Plumbing, Ray Cunningham, and also Bernie. Um, and I'm not. I'm going to mess up his last name. I'm going to have to practice until next week to get that right. Um, but both gentlemen are in the industry of HVAC and plumbing. And ah, Scott, I can't wait to get out. I'm, I'll say it now. H2, whoa. <laughs> yes. And and Jay Cunningham is a legend here in, in yeah. Atlanta. He started Superior Plumbing. Um, and they're, you know, big sponsors. You see their billboards all over the city. And so it'll be great. And he, oh, he's a big champion of promoting the skilled professions with young people too. So excited that we're having him on board. He's going to be another good one to talk to and can't, can't wait for it. Yes, it's going to be excellent. So again, everybody, thank you so much for joining us for lunch. Misty, it was wonderful to meet you. Scott, thank you again for the tour. It was fantastic. And I look forward to seeing y'all next week. Sounds good, Kayleen. Thank you for having Bye. us. Good to see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.